Hey, Jackie. Hey, you have. So you tried it? Yeah, I tried, but it's something random coming in my browser. Really? Yeah, something other yeah. value. Show me, I'm sure it's not random. Hmm. So, let me try. It was something like curly brackets. Yeah, right. With some square brackets inside. Yeah. And then there were a, something like country with the country name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a JSON data structure. JSON data structure? What is it? Yeah, so it's a, a format that we use between two computers, a web service and a, and a web server, for, for example, mm -hmm. uh, to exchange information, to ex hmm. exchange the data. I see. But what is like country, then the name of the country, then the new, then the Correct. numbers? Correct. So, so that's... Uh, what we mean by, by structure, we have a way to represent the information. Here, country, colon, uh, Netherlands, mm -hmm. means you have the key, the country, mm -hmm. and the value. Ah, so it's like key and value pair. Yeah, so that you know what is the information mm -hmm. and the value of this information. Ah, I see. Hmm. But... How do we visualize this in the dashboard with something like this? Yeah, well, you have your JSON here that you receive mm -hmm. and here in your Python code to manipulate this data in, in JSON, mm -hmm. we have what we, uh, what we call a dictionary. A dictionary, that's a Python data structure mm -hmm. which will enable you to well, look at the key country uh, to check that it's the Netherlands mm -hmm. and then take the value for the confirm cases and etc. So that you can create a visualization mm -hmm. out of it. Yeah. So it seems like a manipulating your data. Yeah, exactly. You load the JSON structure in your code mm -hmm. so that you can use it in your algorithm mm -hmm. and then make a visualization and send it to your client. Ah, I see. Okay. So you can give it a try? Yeah, let me try that thing. Thanks.